Hi, I'm Justin with VMP Performance, and we want you to make a thousand horsepower. The question is, blower, turbo, blower, turbo, blower, turbo, boost. We're going to talk about two unique builds that make over a thousand horsepower, but with different power adders. Two different kinds of boost, one goal to make more horsepower. They both help you make more horsepower by forcing more air into the engine, but how do the rest of the pieces and parts work? They're really not all that different. They're both compressors, they both force air into the engine, and they actually use a lot of similar componentry to do it. The twin turbo kit in question actually has upgraded air to water intercoolers, much like a supercharger system that uses an air to water intercooler. The owner of the car behind me decided he wanted to use twin turbos to make a four digit horsepower number. The turbos aren't just any turbos. They are upgraded precision 6466s. They're not the standard turbo that comes with a Hellion kit. They're something specially tailored to this combination because you just don't make a thousand horsepower by walking in the park every day. The engine is fully built with an L&M sleeve short block, E85 for fuel, giving it essentially unlimited octane and an incredible cooling effect. The supercharged Coyote that we show here with the VMP Gen 3 utilize C16 race fuel to make that quadruple digit horsepower number. In the case of a supercharger system, particularly a positive displacement supercharger system, the blower or the supercharger is driven by the belt, which is connected to the engine's crankshaft. So you have a linear relationship between engine RPM and blower RPM. And that effectively creates a very positive relationship between boost which helps us make more horsepower and engine speed. As soon as you go wide open throttle, that blower sucks in air through the throttle body, it gets compressed and put into the engine. Now, you do have some parasitic losses from driving the supercharger through that serpentine belt. However, the upside is instant boost, instant response, especially with a positive displacement blower like the VMP. On the other hand, turbos are driven by exhaust gas something you really wouldn't use anyways. With the turbo's slightly indirect relationship to engine speed, full spool or full boost doesn't occur till about 5,500 RPM. The upside, those turbos create that boost more efficiently by using a byproduct of combustion, i.e. hot exhaust gases. It's pretty cool to take that hot byproduct of combustion, run it through a couple of snails and make something with it. We just talked about two different ways to make quadruple digit horsepower numbers. In the comments below, tell us how you like to make your horsepower. And don't forget to subscribe to see more cool videos like these ones.